Hello everybody, one more time. My name is Alex Centeno with Mercados Interactive Partners. And in this episode, we're gonna be taking a look at um, how to use Photoshop to create the Instagram style effects to apply to your traditional images, not necessarily just your iPhone images, but let's say that you're working on a project and you're doing this professional advertisement and the client wants this Instagram effect, like this, this nice romantic style feel to uh, your photo or vintage style kind of um, photography. So, so how do you go about doing that uh, with Photoshop? So that's what we're gonna be taking a look at uh, today. And uh, of course, before we begin, let me just go ahead and uh, direct you to mercados.com uh, our sponsor for today, M-E-R-K-D-O-S.com. Mercados' focus is to provide uh, businesses with the help that they need to make more money through the use of a strategic website design, custom digital media development, and web marketing. For more information, you can contact us at 1-888-525-8117 or visit us on the web at mercados.com. Great stuff. Um, so, this is actually the result that we have at the end. Uh, and so this is what we're gonna be doing today. Uh, so let me just go ahead and get rid of everything so that we start from scratch. Uh, again, I'm gonna try to do this uh, fairly fast. And so if for whatever reason you have some questions, you can ask them below in the YouTube channel. Or if you feel like I'm going too fast, you can always pause the video and do it that way. So first thing is duplicate this layer. I'm gonna hold Option and drag up, that duplicates the layer, and then I'm gonna be acting in the upper layer. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and check the channels for this image, so I can go to the channels panel and do command three, four, five, four, red, green, and blue, and blue respectively. Red, green, and blue. This effect in particular is actually very simple effect, which involves getting rid of the contrast in the blue channel. So all we're gonna do is select a brush, pretty large brush, hopefully with hardness at 100% and opacity 100%. And then we're gonna select a 50% gray. Zero, zero, 50%, hit okay, and then simply paint on top of the blue channel. All right. So if we actually go to the image now, you can see that the effect is applied. Uh, I'm gonna just undo this to show you another way that is uh, a non-destructive way, which is applying a curves adjustment layer. So click on the adjustment layers icon at the bottom of your layers panel and add a curves adjustment layer, which goes on the top. And here we're gonna select the blue channel, then the pencil, and then we're gonna draw a line at 50% gray. Does the same uh, effect, of course, but this gives you a lot more control because you can say, well, I really want to increase the contrast in my lower levels and then do 50% in my higher levels. The highlights of my image are gonna be at 50%. Or you can, of course, do, you know, uh, start experimenting with the whole thing so that you, uh, get the effects that you prefer. Um, just to show you what, what can be done, if I actually were to draw a line here at the very bottom, basically what that does is I am saying that in the blue channel, almost everything is gonna be black. So I'm not providing any information on the blue channel. Therefore, everything in the image, uh, low lights and highlights become, or shadows and highlights um, become yellow. Uh, and if I do the opposite and I draw this in the upper level here, then everything looks bluish in the image because in the blue channel, I am effectively almost applying everything in white. So for this example of Instagram style images, we're gonna do just 50% on the entire uh, histogram. And that's pretty much it. We're gonna close this and we have the style that we want. The second item that it does is that it applies a vignette style. The easiest way is to come and apply a gradient 
adjustment layer. We're going to change the gradient instead of to gray, we're going to change the color to black. Okay. And instead of a linear style, we're going to do a radial one. Uh, the angle can be 90, of course, it's the same because it's radial. And in the scale, we're going to increase it a little bit so that when we reverse it, it starts a little bit closer to the edges. Then we're going to hit OK. And we're going to reduce the opacity to our liking to make it exactly as dark as we need it. Um, finally, it would be cool to, instead of just having darkening of the corners, to also have a blurring of those corners. So what I'm going to do is duplicate this layer one more time, apply a Gaussian Blur. So go to Blur, Gaussian Blur. 9.3 is pretty, pretty good because you can see that it, it blurs it in a good amount. And now what we're going to do is apply an adjustment, uh, I'm sorry, a mask and select your brush. Make sure that this time your brush has zero hardness or 0% hardness. Uh, you can leave it at normal and opacity 100% and then kind of uh, make a quick calculation of what you want to mask. Paint with black. And so we get a black mask that is allowing a little bit to pass by, which is the corners that now are blurred. So now not only do we have them dark, darkened in the corners, but also we have some blurring that increases the dramatic effect. Pretty cool. The last item uh, that I have for you is how to create the nice border that they include with their images. And so if you want the border, and this is only one technique, of course, there's many ways to do it. But if what you want is to do with rounded corners, then select the rounded corners tool, rounded rectangle tool, and go ahead and, uh, of course, you would do this with extreme care, not the way that I'm doing it here. So just select, and that creates, as you can see, nice outline of what it's going to be showing. Now while holding the command key and clicking on top of this, you're selecting this shape. All right, and so we're going to create a new layer. Uh, we're going to fill that layer with, um, with the color that we want. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just unselect for now. Let's go ahead and fill this with white. All right. Apply a layer. In fact, make the selection. So command click on your rounded rectangle layer. And now select your layer on top, which is the layer that is holding now your white color. And then click on the mask layer. Um, as you can see, it is reversed. In other words, it's showing the border and not showing the inside, and that's not what we need. So by clicking Command I, you can reverse that. And so it actually shows uh, only the border and the inside is, uh, is going through. But of course, it's going through to the, yellow, to the gray rounded rectangle layer that I have over here. So I'm going to delete that one and I get a nice rounded corner borders uh, with the color white in my, in my margin, in my border. Let's say that I want to change the color to this. I just have to double click, go to the layer style, click on the color overlay, and then select the color that I prefer for the border. So depending on the color that I think that is ideal for this image, and I can go with that one. Uh, Instagram does black. Uh, in my case, I'm going to do white for this photo here. That's pretty much it. So let me just go through the process again one more time of the rounded corners part, which I think that needs to be re revised a little bit, okay? I'm going to delete this one more time. First thing 
create a new layer and fill it with any color. It doesn't matter what color it would be. I'm going to do it with gray so that we identify that. Second thing is we're going to create another layer, this time with the rounded, uh, what's called the rounded rectangle tool. Okay. Of course, you would be sensitive with this part. Let's change the color so that it's easier to identify. Okay. So one layer in the bottom that has the gray, another one on top that has the red, in this case, the mask. All right, I'm going to hold the command key and you can see that, the, uh, that my mouse pointer changes to a hand with a rectangle as I do that. I'm going to click on top of it and that select, selects my mask with this shape. Now I'm going to select the layer that is underneath, which is the gray layer, and then click the mask. Great. Now that I have that, then I need to reverse this mask. So I select the mask and as you can see, sometimes you can be selecting the layer or the mask. So make sure that you're selecting the mask. Once you're on top of the mask, then command I is going to reverse your, uh, your layer. It's going to let everything else go. All right. And of course, once you get rid of your red, which is what I'm going to do right now, then you, of course, get your uh, effect. We don't really want it in gray, so we can apply here a color overlay to change the color of the border. And that is pretty much it. I hope that this has been uh, of use for your photos, professional advertising um, photography out there and uh, if you have clients that want this specific uh, effect uh, based on Instagram then now you know how to do it and of course hopefully it will provide great value for you. Again my name is Alex Centeno with Mercados Interactive Partners and don't hesitate to contact us by visiting mercados.com m-e-r-k-d-o-s.com. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.